Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got an email in here, question from a viewer. This is Paul writing in. Paul says, hey Matt, I love your videos, man. Love the quality of your content. I have a dilemma regarding choosing my first legitimate camera and lens for YouTube. Here's the question. I'm looking for my first DSLR or mirrorless for my YouTube channel, along with a good all-around lens. I currently use my OnePlus 3T and I'm looking to upgrade. I really like the Canon lineup with the dual pixel AF. 4K is not a priority for me as they were, were, would require too much extra space and processing power. However, it would be nice to have. I'm looking for a camera that would last me a few years and a good all-around starter lens that I could use for a a good while as well. Here's a quick background as to the type of videos I do. I basically make automotive tutorial videos such as how to install a start stop button in your car, etc. I mostly commentate over the videos so any kind of noise from the camera or lens shouldn't be a significant problem. The lens I'm uh, looking at is a Sigma 17-50 f2.8 as I would like the versatility of being able to zoom as well as have a bit of bokeh effect. Haven't looked at any other types of lenses but this one stood out to me. Cameras I'm looking at will be the SL2, the 77D, the 80D, or the M50. Of course, budget is a factor, but if I can get something that will last for years, then I don't mind spending up to $1,100 for everything camera-wise. Image stabilization and autofocus are priorities for me, so any advice uh, you or your viewers can share would be very much appreciated. Okay, so that's it, and he says, best regards, Paul. So, um, very interesting question. We've got all four cameras you're looking at, Canons. So that's the SL2, 77 d 80D, and the M50. All good cameras and very close in features in a lot of ways. So it, I think it's confusing to a lot of people when they look at these, which way they should go. For me, when you're on a budget, the SL2 hands down is the way to go. It's basically a small, light 80D. It has everything except um, the more enhanced autofocus system, which will not be an issue unless you're wanting to track fast-moving cars or animals or something like that. In other words, if you're a focus recompose shooter, SL2 will do you fine. It also has dual pixel autofocus. So any type of video focus you're looking for is on par with the ADD. And as far as the sensor, they're essentially the same. So the image quality, the video quality, whatnot. SL2 is a great little camera in a very uh, inexpensive package. Not to knock the ADD, because I do like the ADD. It has more of a pro featured body, more pro controls in the sense of more dials and buttons and whatnot. Uh, but if I was going to go to the ADD right now, I probably would jump to the M50. My reason is a lot because of, uh, well, the looks, the size and weight, and I like that it's 4K. It's the only APS-C 4K camera. Um, so uh, if it was me, I would look at it that way. If I wanted to put more money into lenses and your budget was fixed at 11, then maybe the SL2 is the way to go. If you can get an ADD used or refurbed, don't have a problem with that. It's certainly some people prefer that little bit bigger body, that little bit more pro feature body, more buttons and whatnot. Um, it just might, you might not have as much money left for your lenses. The M50, I love it. Uh, I wouldn't dissuade you from that. It doesn't have as many buttons as say the ADD. Um, so it's not, it's not, in that sense, it's not going to be the top end probably a APS-C M series camera but at the moment I think it's one of the best values because it is one of the only ones that features 4k and I know you said you're not really priority for 4k but you may find that changes as you start shooting more video so for me again SL2 I would kind of rule out the 77d as a step in there I would go SL2 if you really want to get a great little camera and have more money for lenses the ADD if you prefer the bigger camera with more buttons and features like a pro camera and the M50 uh, if you like the camera, it's it's a great camera. I really like it. I'm not. I I would throw that in the mix. And it's more for 4K though. Like and 4K is gonna future proof you. Right now, if you get a camera without 4K, it's getting um kind of old in the tooth to have one that doesn't have that. So that's my suggestions. And certainly the Sigma 17 to 50 f 280s is one of my favorite. That's probably my single favorite standard zoom for those type of cameras. Uh, for an APS-C camera. I've had it for both Nikon and Canon. So absolutely, I, I would thumbs up your decision on that one. Uh, let's throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with um, my breakdown of what I would buy and why? Is there some of you that would go with the 77D out of all of those? Um, others that would rule out anything but the M50? What would you guys do and why? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Paul with his question here. Always great to hear back from you guys and your feedback and what you have to say. Thanks for your question, Paul. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rdimage.com.